Good morning, Independence High School. Today is Friday, October the 9th, a B day and another beautiful day at Indian Nation. And as we begin another day, let's pause for a minute of silence. Thank you. Please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, and have a great day, Indian Nation. Good morning, Indian Nation. I'm Milana Mazub. And I'm Anami Kosh. Here's a look at today's top stories. IndieServes is hosting an interest meeting today at 4 o'clock. IndieServes is an organization with members who are passionate about serving the community and helping others. In the near future, they plan to organize other service projects, such as variety of drives for local sh shelters and foster homes. They are excited to continue to grow our membership, and all students are welcome to join. The German Club will start meeting on Wednesday, November 4th. Meetings will take place the first Wednesday of every month from 4.30 to 5.30. Students interested should contact the German teacher, Ms. Schutenik. And now a new weekly segment on Indian Nation News. INN's consumer reporter Qasim Ahmed has this first installment of Indian Nation Reviews. Today he's answering a question that is likely on the mind of any teenager. What is the best vacuum? Kasim is doing the dirty work, so you don't have to. Hey guys, it's Indian Nation Reviews, and I'm reviewing vacuums today. Is he not clean? I don't know what he Hey, I know when you can play that terrible whistle in there. But come on, the shark did an amazing job too. This vacuum just sounds and works so unpleasantly. I had to go over twice with this one. This is not wireless. Wireless? Not wireless. Just just take a look. It's it's hard to make this decision. But I don't care. It Dyson takes it. This was Indian Nation Reviews. See you back at the studio. Thank you, Kasim. That was interesting. We'll look forward to more of your reports in the future. Hey Indy Tigers, do you need a chance to unleash your creativity? The art department will be holding interest meetings this month for two art-focused extra curriculars. The National Art Honor Society is an organization rooted in art scholarships and service. Painting faces at home games, hosting art nights for future tigers, 
and beautifying our school and community are all part of NIHS ex experiences. If you're looking forward for a laid back chance to make some art, then maybe Art Club is for you. Try out some new materials, explore ideas, and take a break from your stressful classes. NAHS will meet next Thursday, October 15th at 4 p.m. Art Club will have its first meeting the next Thursday, October 22nd, also at 4 p.m. Please see the slide for Google Meet for the Google Meets code to join. Do you want more volunteer hours? But more importantly, do you want to be part of an organization that helps children around the world? UNICEF works in over 190 countries and territories to save children's lives to defend their rights and to help them fulfill their potential from early childhood through adolescence. We hope that you can join us for the interest meeting on Friday, October 16th at 8.30 a.m. Please scan the QR code to fill out a Google form that will let us know if you're interested in joining Indy UNICEF. Also, go follow us on Instagram at indy.unicef. We hope to see you there. Do you like physics, forensic science, engineering, natural science, or medicine? Then you should join the Science Olympia. Our interest meeting will be Monday, October 12th. Please re register and join our Schoology page by scanning our QR code. Are you interested in becoming a part of the fastest growing sport in North America? Are you interested in playing the most exciting and talked about lacrosse program in Loudoun County this spring? If so, the boys lacrosse team would like you to fill out their interest form using the QR code or the bit.ly link provided. There are more roster, there are open roster spots on both the JV and varsity levels. The coaches need to gather your information to gear up for the off spring acti activities. Don't be left out in the cold. Join the boys lacrosse team and be part of the fastest game on two feet. Today's featured country for Hispanic Heritage Month is Costa Rica. Did you know that the people of Costa Rica use the phrase Pura Vida to say hello, goodbye, it's all good, and to mean a few other things? Pura Vida means pure life, a phrase that, more than other words, is a way of life in Costa Rica. Costa, Ricans, Costa Rican people are all about peace, love for nature, and fun, just like Switzerland. Costa Ricans truly make the phrase Pura Vida so hard. Spanish club members, old and new. Indie Spanish club will be continue to meeting online every Tuesday, every Tuesday of the month to celebrate and learn about the Hispanic culture and traditions. The first Spanish club meeting will be held this coming Tuesday, October 13th from 4 to 4.30 p.m. Check with your Spanish teachers for more details or contact Senora Rosario Perez for more information. Use the QR code on the promo poster to join the Spanish Club Google Classroom. Write down the code you'll need to join or go to Indy's website and find Spanish Club official web page under activities. Hope you all can make it. Good morning. I'm Indy Nation weather reporter Hannah Skanga and this is your Indy Nation forecast for today. Today there's going to be mainly sunny skies with a few afternoon clouds and a high of 70 degrees. Later in the evening, you can expect partly cloudy skies turning into cloudy skies overnight. There's going to be winds from 5 to 10 miles per hour and a low of 56. That's your Indian Nation forecast. I'm weather reporter Hannah Skanga. Back to you. That's all the time we have for today. And as always, we leave you with, with the daily declaration. Yeah, well, you know, that's just like... Uh, your opinion, man. Well, I can't count how many times I've been outdone by nihilism. Join the mods that splits with an open heart into a schism. I cower at the thought of other people's expectations, and yet still.